to show you what I, I'm wearing today for this snowshoe trek. It's minus 15 out, but the wind chill is probably closer to minus 20, maybe minus 25. I'm in the sun right now eating lunch out of the wind. But just to show you, um, I'm wearing this Empire Canvas Works wool jacket. I don't know if the camera can, can see that. Um, underneath that I've got a, a fleece. And underneath that I've got my wicking base layer for pants. The, the standard is wool pants, heavy, heavy wool pants. I've got a heavy wicking layer underneath that. These are good from about plus 2 to minus 40. They're just amazing. Don't know if the camera will pick it up, but my wool pants and the leather patches on the knees are just steaming. Yeah, you can see it. Wool, super breathable and dries in the sun and by the fire. No worry about sparks either. Look at that steam. I'm just I'm just barehanding it here. It's it's uh, blazing in the sun. And I got a white reflecting wall for my fire as well. I'm actually getting hot. I'm gonna have to de-layer here. Look at the steam coming off. My old Sorrells. Working the fire, I'm I'm using these leather gloves with liners in them, but I've been trekking. Just bear with me for a sec. First time ever been using these Empire Canvas Works gauntlet mitts. They are just awesome. Just incredible. I've owned them for a couple years. Kevin at Empire Canvas Works made them for me. Thanks, Kevin. And uh, they are they are really great. I I'm a diehard glove man, but I think I'm switching to to uh, mitts. My my hands have been really cold doing the photography out in the wind, and you can just shove them back into these gauntlets, and they warm right up. The outer layer of the insulation layer is is wool, and and the inner layer is a wicking fleece. So I'm just really really pleased with these, and I'm really liking this fleecy uh, face warmer and nose wiper. Uh, every time my nose gets Feels like frostbite in the wind. I just put this up against it and it can warm it right up. I know they're brand new, they're not worked in yet, but they will. Also has the clips for a, a shoulder harness. I'm just not using the harness today. I forgot to mention the most important thing with the clothing is the total breathability of wool and fleece. I've got no shell on except for except for my boots where they will get that liner will be soaking wet at the end of the day and I will switch it out and put on my dry pair. But but everything else is 100% wicking and breathable. Even my headgear. Uh, this is a balaclava here. It's an acrylic balaclava. I've just got it folded up out of the way because it's so it's so beautifully sunny and warm, and and this is a a four layer acrylic toque underneath it that's very stretchy and uh, won't give me hat head. Um, these are made by Crown Cap out of Winnipeg, and you can get them in hardware stores for six bucks or ten bucks, and it's the best the best toque I've ever seen. Um, I don't like wool on my skin; it, it itches. So this, these this acrylic headwear. Is really good. It'll get spark holes and burn and burn, and this one has, but it's four layers thick. So total breathable layers, working hard when you're snowshoeing, and uh, it, it keeps the moisture to the outside. And it doesn't matter if it gets a little wet on the outside because it's on the outside. Dry on the inside, and uh, moving that moisture through. That's the secret to staying warm and comfortable out trekking in in the winter and. The colder it gets, the harder it is to stay dry because you have to bundle up, especially when it's windy. So the key is 
no no shells except for heavy wool and cotton shells like like my Empire Canvas Anorak there which I have strapped onto the outside of my pack in case it gets really windy on today's snowshoe trek I can put that on and it's got a big hood and a wolf fur trim on it but I don't need that right now because even though it's minus 15 wind chill of probably minus 20 or so maybe minus 25 out in the wind um, when you're working hard this this wool and fleece is just multiple layers is I find it's the best works for me beautiful day oh and I forgot to mention of course that just like wool the cotton canvas anorak or that's actually a permafrost parka model um, you can sit right by the fire and sparks and embers can blast at you and it doesn't melt through unlike a synthetic which would be pocketed with spark holes immediately so the traditional older materials sometimes still work better at least they do for me anyway <laughs> 